Firestone Ride Right Air helper springs are at the heart of your towing needs. You're about to get the full download on how to install these springs on your Ford F-150. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, go ahead and make sure all of the parts you'll need are on hand. Next, remove the negative battery cable and insert some wheel chocks to keep the front end from moving. Go to the rear of the truck and loosen the lug nuts on both wheels. Use a floor jack on the rear end to raise it up and place a pair of jack stands underneath the axle. You can now fully loosen the lug nuts and remove the wheels. Now, look underneath the truck for the jounce bumpers, also known as bump stops. We won't need them anymore, but we will need the hardware, so hang on to it. Next, grab a spring and an upper bracket. Insert the studs of the air spring into the mounting holes of the upper bracket. Make sure the air inlet is visible through the large access hole. Then fasten the upper bracket to the air spring using hardware. Now, take an elbow fitting and install it into the air spring via the large access hole in the upper bracket. Tighten the fitting securely to engage the sealant, then position the fitting so it faces where the air inflation valves will eventually be located. Pick up the left lower bracket and spacer and attach them to the air spring with hardware. The open end of the spacer should mount toward the lower bracket. Next, attach the left frame bracket to the bottom of the frame. You'll need to use the bump stop hardware. Insert hardware through the bracket and into the holes on the outside of the frame. Take a torque wrench and set it to 20 foot-pounds and secure the frame bracket to the frame hole brackets on the inside of the frame rail. Place the assembly on the leaf stack over the spring retainer and align the holes in the upper bracket with the lower four holes in the left frame bracket. Then, take the correct hardware and bolt the assembly to the frame and leaf stack. Check for alignment and then tighten it all down. At this point, you can stop working on the driver's side and switch to the passenger side where you'll repeat the steps before moving on. Grab the airline tubing and cut it into two equal lengths, making sure it's not kinked. Make the cut as straight across as possible. Take the cut end and insert it into the air fitting, pushing it into place. Next, find a location to place the air inflation valves. You might prefer them on the bumper or on the body, wherever they'll be safe from damage, but still accessible with an air chuck. Route the airline tubing along the frame rails, keeping in mind that they should not be kinked or exposed to heat sources or sharp edges. In places where heat is unavoidable, use the provided heat shield to protect the lines. Use cable ties to hold the airlines tight against the body and insert the tubing into the air inflation valves. Now that your system's installed, it's time to check for leaks. Inflate the springs to 70 PSI, then take a spray bottle of soapy water and spray it onto the tubing ends. To fix any leaks, undo the tubing and make sure the cut is as straight as possible, and check that the line is fully inserted into the fitting. This completes the installation of the Ride Right Air Springs for the Ford F-150. We hope this video helped you with your installation process. For more information and our full product line, visit riderite.com. Firestone Ride Right. Comfort, confidence, and control.